Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got rain, wind, and heat last night, and the grass grew three inches. That means I have to mow again. No! Hey, everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. So I'm pretty sure today is like day 49 million of the yard renovation. If you're new to the channel, over the last year, I've tore down all the trees in my front yard, got a bulldozer in here, leveled everything off. But now a year later, we have beautiful Kentucky bluegrass growing and the erosion area in the center of my yard is finally growing. So now I say we get rid of these weeds. But as with most things, that's a little bit easier said than done because I stuck this erosion matting stuff over the center and it's got this plastic backing to it and so the areas that already had grass established just got lifted off the ground so if I hit this with the lawnmower it's gonna wrap around those blades tighter than I don't really have an analogy but it's gonna wrap around the blades so this morning I'm gonna come through here and I'm gonna find the areas where the erosion matting is lifted off and we're gonna cut this stuff out because I think we're ready to be able to start mowing through this now before we do that let's stop and have a moment of silence for this shepherd's purse that is gonna get slaughtered here in a little bit. All right, let's get to work. DC is having a hard time figuring out this backhoe. Not like his old handy dandy one. Me and Sable, we got a grave to dig. We are taking the 580 case. So this will be the first trip that I've actually taken this backhoe out on. I love this little machine. I should have probably been playing with it sooner, but uh, we're gonna go out and try it. I really like this machine though. I think we're gonna get things figured out. I'll get used to this machine, Sable, but I'm not used to having brakes on the earlier back where the brakes don't work. Just now I hit them and this, oh, this could be entertaining for Sable today. So we got everything we need, Sable. Let's see how our fuel's in here so we don't get down the road and run out of fuel. Figure out how to turn the air conditioning and stuff on. Oh, here's the van. All right, we're doing good, we're doing good. I don't know what that button's for. All right, we are ready to go. Oh, there we go, we got the loader. Let's tip her back a little. Whoa, then the darn thing's gotta fall over. What's the scoop here? Starting to get the feel a little bit of this Case 580 out here, but I'm just kind of taking my time. With every grave, we just want to make everything look as nice as we can. We're gonna go ahead and start cleaning up around here. We like to take the rake and shovel and get everything looking nice and dirt, so everything's just grass around the grave. It is so nice sitting in this. I gotta get used to the stuff. It's basically like our other backhoe, but everything's so new, so snug that I like it. And even the cab, it is nice and quiet. It's a tight cab. What you guys doing up there? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Just hanging around. That's really a long ways up there. It is a long ways up. You even playing in battery acid, Mama Cornstar? The mice have been chewing on my pants. Jeez. Now isn't that 
just amazing what cutting out just a little bit of tall grass can do. Looks so much better. But after kind of working around in some of this tall grass for a little bit and walking on this erosion matting, I decided I'm probably gonna wait at least another week before I go out there and mow. Some of these taller areas that you can see poking through, that looks pretty good. But when I pulled up the erosion matting, some of the areas here on the edge have some Kentucky bluegrass that is just starting to germinate. So it's just little baby stuff yet. And I don't wanna hit that with the lawnmower because I don't wanna risk either crushing it or pull accidentally pulling it out of the ground. So looking out in the center here, we have some areas that are taller. Those would be fine to mow, but it's the shorter spots in between that I'm gonna let get a little more established. Right now it's kind of a pain to mow the yard because you have to mow this front part in its own little area and then you have to mow the top part in its own little area instead of just doing nice long passes back and forth. But it won't be like that for much longer because this is growing fast. I ended up getting done with the yard last night in the dark. They're talking rain all day today. It's actually drizzling right now. You might be able to see it on your screen. But I wanted to get this all mowed up because they're talking rain basically all week. And the yard was starting to get tall, but now since it's raining, we're gonna do some stuff in the house. So first thing this morning, Caleb North Cornstar is gonna come out. He's wanting to grow his YouTube channel, so he asked if the pro would show him how. Nah, I'm just kidding, I'm not a pro. I just run around like a wild man. And then we have a couple <coughs> bills to pay. Then we're gonna go upstairs, we're gonna clean out some rooms, and then we're gonna get ready to start pulling some trim off so that way we can do some demo. Hey, can't you read the sign that says that's my parking spot? Just waiting for Cooper. We got a little run around to do this morning. We got to go get some parts. We got to do a little run around, but uh, just standing down here in the shop. What a beautiful weekend we had for Cooper's graduation party. Super amount of friends and families and people we haven't seen for a long time were out. So we wanna thank everybody for coming out to Cooper's graduation party and stuff. Now we're emptying out the shop here and we got to start bringing some machinery in that we'll be working on soon. It's kind of a new chapter for me and it's kind of a huge privilege. I get to work and farm with my two boys, get to learn a lot from them. Hopefully they'll learn a little bit from me and you know, just trying to make our farm a family farm. It's I don't know, it's, it's a hard feeling to explain, but it's a super nice feeling too. Well, enough jabbling, you know what I mean. All right, so as Cooper gets here, we're gonna head to the lumber yard. We gotta start getting some lumber figured out for this little shed that's gonna be built at the grain setup. So we need to be getting that stuff ready. We gotta go get some other parts, I think for one of our four wheelers and some stuff for our skid loader. All right, guys. What me and Cooper did, we just stopped. We bought a 18 inch auger. Right there it is. We're gonna use that on our skid loader for out in the cemetery when we're digging cremations and stuff. So we just came down here at a, a Bobcat dealer. We got this paid for, it's starting to rain on us again. So it's time to hit the road. I'm still really new to this guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, for watching. We've got like a thousand acres to go, some beans to finish up, and then we're gonna get done planting early this year. Hang with us, check back for the next one. We'll finish up that family farm, out. Had a really good time with Caleb, but we should probably get back to work. So this is my bedroom and it's kind of a war zone right now because I need to get all of this stuff packed up into these totes. That way we can get everything put away. Then when we start tearing down the plaster on stuff and that dust gets everywhere, it's not getting over all my personal belongings. So far when it comes to demolition, we have that room, that room, and that room destroyed. And we have that room, that room, and this room to go. I guess we can't forget about this hallway. Our goal right now is to get everything in the attic and everything upstairs completely gutted so that way we can get it insulated. And the plan is to get all this demolition stuff done before it starts getting hot outside. So let's get all this stuff picked up, put into these totes. We gotta get all the furniture out of here and then we'll start tearing off all the wood trim. Get all that labeled so that way we know where it goes. And then we'll start demolition. And now we have another little change of plans. I just got a call from mom and she said that I have a couple teachers from high school that are having an open house retirement party. They impacted my life big time. So I'm gonna take a little break from doing this for a while. We're gonna go run in and visit them, 
wish them a happy retirement. And honestly, it's kind of a good day for this because it's just been raining all day. Looking at the old rain thermometer here, looks like we got about four tenths. For those of you who don't know rain speak, that is four tenths of an inch per square inch. That's a nice little drink of rain. All right, underlay, underlay. Now unfortunately, my electricity upstairs stopped working a while ago, and you guys can't see very well in the dark, so we're gonna call you here. Thanks for tuning in for a slow day on the farm, guys. Remember, we of course our farm's merch through the link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>